working um, pretty well. So, you know, we, we, we didn't want to end the week without talking about this extremely important program that is coming to San Diego. We have a very special guest today that is going to be explaining the details about the program and everything that entails and how you can apply for it. It's specifically for uh, small business owners and for business owners in the San Diego County area. So welcome, Marini. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, my name is Marini Ponce, and I'm the Deputy Director with the Inner City Capital Connections Program. And I'm looking forward to sharing a little bit about our program and some of our work to help small business owners really build their business for long-term growth and continue to kind of navigate all the intricacies of the COVID-19 pandemic. That's right. And uh, for those that do not know, uh, I think this is the third year in San Diego. I think this is actually going to be our fourth year. Oh, fourth so we've year. run the program in San Diego since 2018. Fourth year um, in San Diego. And, mm -hmm. and, and now I we're virtual. So I'm, <laughs> the best part of hosting this program in San Diego is we get to come visit the beautiful city and <laughs> spend some time there. But <laughs> we're going to make it work over Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this is the fourth, and I think we were part of it uh, two, three years ago. I think we were part of the second cohort, and I can I can tell you know by experience that it is a very well organized uh, program with a very uh, uh, valuable curriculum. That I mean, you you guys provide a lot of valuable information throughout the program. So I'm gonna let you explain what is the program about and how people can apply. And then at the end, remember, if you have any uh, questions, please feel free to share them uh, on the chat, and then we will address them at the end. So the stage is yours, Mary. Awesome. Um, so do you want to pull up the slides? Yes, I'm going to, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to pull up the slides. Uh, awesome. Okay, hold on. I'm going to move you to, okay, hold on, give me one second. There you go. Sounds good. Well. Oh, wait, awesome. hold on. <laughs> oh, no worries. <laughs> uh, it's like, uh, I have, man. I'm sorry, Mary. No worries. Okay. Perfect. So once again, um, my name is Marini Ponce and I'm the Deputy Director with the Inner City Capital Connections Program. Um, Side the next slide, please. Yes. So the Inner City Capital Connections Program is a tuition-free program designed um, to help small business owners and under-resourced communities build capacity for long-term growth, as well as continue to survive the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, we're based out of a national nonprofit called the Initiative for a Competitive Inner City that's really done, that's done a lot of work related to both research and programming to think through how we can better support those business owners in underserved and under-resourced communities and thinking through some of the strategies and tools that they need to grow and continue to be anchors of job creation um, and support for their communities. Next slide. So business owners that participate in the program will walk away with four key takeaways. One, our business recovery strategies to help your business survive, recover, and grow. We know that during this past year, uh, business owners have gone to, have had to go through so many different challenges um, to make sure that you could keep your doors open and keep your employees employed. And so we've, des we've specifically designed our curriculum to help you think through what are some of those key pivots that you need to be making and ways in which you can help uh, your business strategy survive during this time. We'll also provide uh, business owners with a lot of information about capital relief solutions. So whether that's immediate grant programs that are available, but helping you understand what capital resources are available and which options are best for you as you're thinking through ways to help your business grow. Um, 
one of the worst things, one of the challenges of this pandemic as well has been us having to stay at home and not being able to communicate with others. And so through the program, you'll be able to get gain a lot of community building and be able to connect with other business owners like yourself that are going through similar challenges and find ways that you can learn from each other and work with each other. And then lastly, one of the core components of our program is one-on-one -on -one coaching. So business owners who participate will be able to receive a personalized coaching on their business strategies and find ways to um, think through how they can help their business grow. Next slide. So our program um, was founded in 2005, and this is just a brief snapshot of the types of businesses that we've been able to work with and the impact that we've been able to make. So we've been able to work with a little over 3,000 companies who since participation have been able to create over 22,000 jobs, uh, raise over 2 billion in capital, as well as average about 120% growth in their revenues. Um, we've worked, we've specifically focus on BIPOC owned businesses, as well as women owned, veteran owned, disabled, et cetera, um, and are looking for ways in which we can continue to support um, those communities that are in most need. Next slide. As Thayde mentioned, we've, we've hosted cohorts in San Diego since 2018. And since then, we've been able to work with over 160 companies. Um, and you can see a little bit here that on um, about some of their impact. So folk, again, a focus on those BIPOC and women-owned companies. Um, and those companies who have participated have been able to raise over 5 million in capital. Um, they've been able to grow their revenues by about 80%. And um, those who have participated and have been able to create jobs on average are creating nine jobs. And those jobs are jobs in their communities and for, for folks who typically aren't able to find job opportunities in other markets as well. So really thinking through how are we helping to build that community development in those communities. Next slide. We are a national program, so we offer, uh, will be in all of these cities across the country. So um, for those of you maybe who aren't in San Diego or maybe relocated, we'll be in all of these other cities. So you're more than welcome to participate in another market, or if you know of other business owners in one of those other regions, you can definitely nominate them um, and encourage them to apply. Next slide, please. Um, our program um, is, a, we like to call our program a mini MBA on steroids for a lot of business owners. Um, we know that there are a lot of things, and we know that most of the business owners that we work with are really good at their craft. You're really good at what you do, but oftentimes some of the things that's lacking are the business strategy or some of the other resources that go into running a business. So um, our pro we deliver our program in four key components. Um, and this is, it's a total time commitment of about 40 hours spread over a five to six month period. So it's pretty self-paced and self-guided. So you can work on the program as it, as it best works for your schedule. So we'll begin the San Diego program with a two day virtual seminar series, the afternoons of June, tw um, June 29th and July 1st. So kind of that week right before 4th of July. Um, and we'll provide presentations on strategy, marketing, talent management, and entrepreneurial finance, all through the lens of helping your business continue to survive this through this pandemic and thinking through ways to implement those different key strategic pivots into your longer term strategy. Um, we'll also feature a resource panel where we'll bring together local technical assistance and capital providers to talk about the different types of resources they offer and which resources are best for your business at this time. And we encourage you to follow up with them so you can learn about what's available in your own backyard. And then lastly, there's always a lot of opportunities for you to be networking and learning from the other business owners in the program. Um, after the opening seminars, we offer some additional online learning experiences. So we offer some some shorter targeted webinars that are usually about an hour long and are really focused on helping you walk away with two to key, two to three key strategies that you can implement in your business. 
And this year, we've also introduced some longer online courses that are more personalized and tailored to your specific needs. So those are courses that you can continue to work on over a period of time and think through how they really apply to your business and how you can utilize them. As I mentioned, one of the other key components of our program is coaching. We offer two types of coaching, general business coaching as well as capital coaching. Um, general business coaching, we partner with a number of both local and national coaching organizations to help you think through some of those main challenges you're facing as it relates to strategy, marketing, talent management, or finance. Um, some of those organizations include um, Pacific Community Ventures based in Oakland, um, as well as a number of other local uh, TA providers. Our capital coaching is really focused on helping you refine your pitch for capital and ensure that you are able to access the capital you need to grow. So uh, as you saw, so, uh, of our San Diego alumni, about they've been able to um, access about over $5 million in capital. And a lot of that is due to the work that we do in our one-on-one -on -one coaching, where we connect you with either a banker or small community lender that's gonna really go through your financials and help you think through what is the best way for you to get the capital you need on the best terms for you so that way you can really accelerate your business growth. And participants are able to do either one or both types of tracking uh, of coaching. Um, and then lastly, our program ends with our virtual national conference um, at the in the beginning of December. And this is an opportunity where we bring together all of our participants from across the country. So you saw that map and we'll bring together everyone from those cities. And it's an opportunity to really tie together all of the components of the program, do some additional networking and then help you walk away with the newfound strategy that's going to lead your business into 2022. So really thinking through all of those learnings from the webinars, from the opening seminar, from your coach, and how does that help you uh, figure out what your strategy is going to be in 2022 and how to access the capital you need to get there. Next slide, please. Um, in terms of some of the companies that we work with, so as I mentioned, we do focus on, on business owners that are in um, those underserved communities. Um, we're looking for the decision makers in the room. So we're looking for the CEOs, the presidents, or folks who we know can be able to implement a lot of those uh key suggestions into the business. Um, we work with both for-profit and non-profit companies that also include social enterprises or sole proprietorships. Um, again, we look at those communities that are most disadvantaged, but also, and this will include low to moderate income census tracts, um, inner cities, um, opportunity zones, promise zones, et cetera. Um, and, we all, and if your business may not qualify one of those areas, we also look to see if your employees are located in those areas. Because we know if your business, if you're if you're growing, then your employees are able to take advantage of those benefits. And so we wanna make sure that we're being able to support those people in those communities. We've worked with businesses that are past the proof of concept stage and that are past the startup stage. So typically these are, bus these are businesses that have been around for at least two to three years um, and that are generally making upwards of 50,000 or 100,000 in annual revenues. But we review all of our applications on a holistic basis. So we'll conduct a brief phone interview with you after you submit an application. And the goal is to really get a better sense of your business and how our program can best serve you. So don't feel afraid if you think maybe um, I'm not, I don't think I'm in an under-resourced community. We still encourage you to apply and we'll work with you to make to ensure that the to make sure that the program can be a good fit for you. And if we aren't the right fit, we'll help find another organization that can best serve you. So there's no need to worry there. Um, and we also specifically are looking at business owners who are in the healthcare, construction, or food service industries because we know that those are some industries that are uh, one that have been most impacted by COVID, but two that also need some additional support as well. Uh, next slide, please. Um, so for example, um, here's an example of some of the companies that we've worked with last year. So we were able to serve over a thousand companies. Um, 
three uh, three quarters of those were BIPOC owned businesses with the majority of those being women owned as well. Um, and so again, you can see here some of the industries that we've worked with in the past. Um, one thing that I do also just want to make a note of um, is actually, um, Thayda, if you can go back to the previous slide. Um, it's not mentioned here, but this year is something that we've also done to make sure that our program can be as accessible as possible, is that we are actually offering Spanish interpreting services um, for Spanish-speaking companies. So what that means is we are going to be providing an, a live interpreter at all of our, at our opening seminars hosting webinars in Spanish, as well as translating our library of over 20 webinars into Spanish, um, connecting those Spanish speaking business owners with a Spanish speaking coach, and also translating element, uh, translating our, na our national conference. So this program is not only focused for folk, for people who only speak English, we understand that especially in San Diego and in Southern California, that immigrant owned businesses make up a huge population and we want to make sure that we're able to best support them. So um, again, so our program is open for both those businesses who speak English as well as those who do not speak English. Um, and there are several members on our team who are fluent in Spanish who will be able to work with those companies and make sure we're connecting them to the right resources. Uh, next slide, please. And next. Awesome. So um, there are a couple of ways in which you can get involved with us. Um, so for if you know of business owners that could take advantage of this program, we encourage you to nominate them. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that you can nominate. Um, you can send us their information. Um, if you also, if you work with a lot, if you have a lot of people in your network that you'd want to nominate, we can do something similar to this or we host an info session and we share more information about the program. Um, and we encourage you to talk, post this on your social media. You know, we have some, uh, we can send you some sample graphics and things that you can post and we encourage you just to share the information as much as possible. Um, our goal, again, is to work with as many companies as possible to ensure that you all have the right resources. And again, it's a free program, so we want to make sure that you all can take advantage of this and have access to it. Next slide. Um, there's, you can also uh, engage with us by becoming a collaborator. So if you are a resource provider, again, maybe you are a small business lender and you want to think about ways in which to provide coaching opportunities, or you um, are you're a small business owner that also specializes in marketing strategies, we want to work with you so that way we can better educate our community and our business owners, but also um, highlight your business and ensure that folks know about the resources that you offer. Next slide. Um, this is just kind of a high level overview of some of the ways in which you can nominate. I'm not going to get into too much detail on this, um, but we can talk about it in um, the next slide a bit. So um, next slide, please. So as you can see here, this is generally our program timeline for the San Diego cohort. So as I mentioned, the San Diego program is going to, is going to begin at the end of June. Um, and right now we are actively seeking nominations and applications. Um, so we have an application deadline of next week, but we're more than willing to work with you and extend that if you need a little bit more time. Um, so. We want you to keep that June 29th and July 1st date in your calendar. Um, and if you know of a business or you are a business owner that you think can take advantage of this program, nominate them now, apply now. Even if you think, even if these deadlines have passed, we're willing to work with you. We're, this is more of just a general time frame of when you should be applying, but um, we are always welcoming applications and reviewing them on a rolling basis. Um, so again, the most important date is June 29th and July 1st, because that's going to be the actual beginning of the program. Next slide. Um, so yeah, again, we encourage you to attend and participate. There, it's all going. The program will be fully virtual this year, so you can do it from the comfort of your home or from your business if you need to. Um, so again, save the date for those two days. Next slide. 
Um, and here are just some important links that you can reference. So again, if you want to know, if you know of a business owner that you think, wow, they can really use this program, that they are great for this, um, we encourage you to nominate them at the link in green here. So nominate.iccapitalconnections.org. Um, and if you're a business owner and you're listening in and you're thinking, wow, I want to take advantage of this program, you can apply directly here at apply.iccapitalconnections. Um, and again, for those who, uh, for those Spanish speaking businesses, you can direct them here on there, there'll be a link that will um, take you to the application form in Spanish where they can apply. So if you know of a Spanish speaking business owner that can also take advantage of this program, please encourage them to nominate, share the information and we'll work with them. And then of course you can learn more about our program and some of the work that we've done at the links below. Uh, next slide, please. And so we encourage you to um, follow up with us and reach out to our team. Um, we're more than we'll, we're more than happy to work with you and think through um, some of the ways that you want to get involved with us, or some of the ways in which we can help you. Um, we also have our social media handles here, so please follow us on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, and engage with us and see about and learn about some of the other events and resources that we have coming up. Um, so that's a little bit um, on my end just about the program. I hope this is really informative and helpful. Um, and I guess we'll open it up to any questions from the audience that we have. Thank you, um, Ernie. Oh my God, this thing is driving me crazy today. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, the detailed presentation um, that you have provided to us. I love this program, you know, because it, it definitely puts a lot of resources and a lot of effort into building economic prosperity in areas that we need to build uh, more opportunities, uh, not just for the business community, but for the minorities communities as a whole. So that's that's great. And, and uh, guys, watch this presentation again so you can see the numbers of what they have accomplished you know, over the last cohorts that they have had. Um, we, we don't have any uh, questions so far, but I want uh, to highlight a couple of pieces of information with you, Marini, just so people uh, okay. remember that this program is for businesses that at least have been in business for two years, correct? Yes. And revenue over $100,000. Yes. Okay, perfect. So again, um, businesses that, you know, that you're past the startup stage, you've been around for a few years, you're thinking, okay, I'm doing well, but I want to hit that next level of growth. I want to continue to grow. I want to create more jobs. And I know I need to maybe get access to capital to grow. Um, we're the program for you. We can definitely work with you to help you think through that strategy and thinking through how you can go ahead and how you can seek the capital that you need to really move your business forward. Um, and for those business, small businesses that have been reaching out to us lately and uh, that are interested in doing business with the government and with corporations, and you need to have all your operating structure in, in, in place and all your insurance and, and everything in order so you can compete for those contracts, this is a way opportunity for you to put your uh, company in order, you know, have a solid foundation so you can go and pursue those contracts. I'm pretty sure that you have some uh, success stories in your database, uh, Marini, of companies that are already doing business with corporations and, and the government. Definitely. So we work closely with, so we are uh, funded by Kaiser Permanente and we work closely with them to think through how can we ensure that small business owners in San Diego can be able to work and get a contract with Kaiser. Yes. So we are doing a lot of different events with the supplier diversity team at Kaiser to think through, or in a lot of other corporations, including Vizient and FedEx and a lot of other major anchor institutions to say, what are the things that they're really looking for and what can you be doing in your business 
to make sure that you're in the best position possible to take advantage of those opportunities. So at our opening seminar, you'll hear from some of those people from those major organizations, and you'll also, we'll also continue to provide webinars and coaching related to how can you get certified as a business? How can you make sure that you're submitting in an RFP correctly? How can you make sure that you have all the documents and you can show that you can handle the contract with these organizations. So really helping to walk you through those processes and then ultimately making the connections with those organizations to say, hey, we know someone who works here. Here's how you can be connected with them and work with there. So there's a number of our companies that have so a number of our alumni that through the program have been able to meet someone at FedEx and from there has been able to e be able to expand their uh, shipping services as well as become a potential contractor with them. So the opportunities are endless and we definitely want to work with you to understand what some of your challenges are and what you're really struggling with and thinking through how can we connect you to the right coach or to the right resources to help get you there. I'm so glad that you shared um, that information right now, Marini, because for the Hispanic Chamber of E-Commerce, uh, starting this year, it, it has become a priority to help small businesses to uh, reach out to different entities in the county, you know, like the San Diego County, City of San Diego, the different mm -hmm. cities, and also the corporations that are doing business with small businesses in San Diego, like Kaiser Permanente, for example. So I'm glad that you shared that information because right now, as you can, I mean, as you know, after the or during the pandemic and and now in this recovery process that we're in, it's important for small businesses to consider other opportunities for them uh, to do business with. And that it was so complicated and so difficult to do business with all these entities. It's just a matter of having your operation in 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 place, you know, with the right processes and with the right uh, resources that you need to compete for these contracts, but it is not impossible. And that's why programs like yeah. this one are so valuable to your business. I agree, yeah, definitely. And I think, um, you know, oftentimes it's such a scary process to go yeah. about it. And I think the biggest, the most important thing is to know what goes into it, to mm -hmm. know the ins and outs and to know the different steps. So that way you're more prepared and you know, okay, I've made, now made it to this next round where I know that it's going to be a little difficult, but I have everything in order. So that way I'm more likely to get there. So, um, you know, it's just making sure, and I think just making that process more accessible to our communities, because we know that all that business owners in San Diego, minority owned, uh, Latino owned companies, they have the ability to compete with those larger corporations. Yes. They have their services. They can provide those resources to to the Kaisers, to the other major hospitals, to the major uh, educate uh, universities. But it's how do you make sure that they get access to those opportunities? And that's really what we're all about. How do you have the information and the resources to get there and then getting access to the, those decision makers, and those important folks who are going to be able to help get you there? Yeah. And for those that ask about access to resources to compete for these contracts, this is one of them. And you you know, guys, that in the last two weeks we had Wells Fargo presenting, you know, the process to do business with them. We have the uh, Port of San Diego, how to do business with the Port of San Diego. Um we're going to bring someone from Kaiser soon. Hopefully, uh, you guys can join us too. Um, and we're going to keep bringing you other entities in San Diego that are searching for you. But you have to be prepared. And one way to be prepared is by educating yourself, having access to these valuable resources. So if And, and I mean, the qualifications are very minimum, you guys. Two years, $100,000. And you can apply for this program. And what I also love about it is that you actually put the effort to put uh, to have resources in Spanish too. So don't don't give me like the you know the language is a barrier thing because in this case, yeah, you know we have <laughs> Spanish content for you to to learn, get prepared, and get your business ready to take it to the next level. So that's another important component of this program that they have the curriculum in Spanish. And the other one, which is extremely important and is the main issue that most of you guys are always uh, complaining about and, 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 and find, trying to find ways to have access to these specific resources, access to capital. 
And through this program, they have been able to allocate more than $5 million in funding to their participating businesses. So even if you're not interested in doing business with corporations or, or with public uh, entities, you can have connections within the program that can help you to have access to capital. So that's huge right there. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, yeah, and Eddie, just, I'm sorry. Go ahead, uh, Marini. Oh, I was just going to say, I think something that we see in a lot of businesses that we work with is that they've gone to a, you may have gone to a bank three or four times asking for a loan. And every time you go, you get denied, mm -hmm. but you don't know why. Mm -hmm. They just tell you, no, you're not eligible for this loan. So what we do in our coaching is we'll actually pair you with, say, a banker from Bank of America. And they're able to take off that banker hat and tell you pretty much everything in your application that they saw and said, hmm, I don't think I want to give you capital. <laughs> so that way they're you're getting basically the inside knowledge as yeah. to what a banker is really thinking through when they're looking at your application. So that way, the next time you go to Bank of America or whichever local bank or credit union, you know what they're looking at and you can give them the best application forward. And then you're that much more likely to get capital. So I what like, we found. Is <laughs> I was going to say that I like that keyword that you said, you know, you're going to be working with the insiders. Yeah, get the inside knowledge because it's, yeah. you know, there's a lot of things that they're looking at and mm -hmm. a lot of things that we don't know what they're looking at. So it's important to make sure that you're presenting yourself with the, with the best foot forward Correct. because we know how we know how much that capital can help your business grow, but also to help you create jobs and help those other people in your community. And that's how you really build community wealth. That's how you build and generate economic prosperity. And so we want to make sure that you have those resources to go out and do that. And you're going to get access to capital, but at the same time, you're going to have a plan, you know, because we, exactly. I, we can give you a million dollars, but if you don't know what to do with it, you can waste it. <laughs> exactly. Right. Um, anything else that you would like to add, Marini, uh, before we go? Yeah, I would say, um, again, our program is going to be fully virtual this year. So if you look at the dates and you see June 29th and June, July 1st don't work for you, we're going to be hosting these every single week. We're going to be hosting the opening seminars every week. So there's always an opportunity to participate. Um, if you are a little unsure whether or not, again, you think you're a good fit, we want to work with you regardless. And even if the program isn't a right fit for you. We want to be able to connect you to other resources that we know can help you get there. Um, and then lastly, um, again, we are going to be offering Spanish interpreting services. It's not just going to be a one and done. We're translating something in Spanish, but no, we're being, we're going to be offering our webinars in Spanish as well. We're going to be connecting those businesses with Spanish speaking coaches who can really work with them and help them think through their business further and really ensuring that they're getting access to equal opportunities just as everyone else. Um, because we know how important they are in our community and the role that they play. So we want to make sure that they're getting access to that information. So please, Feel free to reach out to my team um, with any questions. We encourage you to apply. We encourage you to nominate other businesses that you know that maybe aren't listening in that can take advantage of the program. We want you to spread the word as wide as possible because you want to make sure that we're helping as many business owners get the resources that they need to grow their business. Please remind us the cost to apply. Nada. <laughs> Nada. The program is... <laughs> Zero. completely free <laughs> but listen listen guys free doesn't mean that it's not costing someone some money right so we have to be grateful that corporations like Kaiser Permanente is supporting this initiative here in San Diego because they are the ones who are putting the money and probably someone else but if if you apply for the program please commit to the 40 hours don't just like sign up and then in the middle of the program you just quit because that doesn't look good on you and it doesn't look good on, on, on the people like that is trying to help you out, you know, to take your business to the, to the next level. I know that those businesses that are committed to growing their business, they are going to go through the full 40 hours and probably are going to be bugging, you know, some of the instructor, instructors after. Because I know that there are many of you that are extremely committed with, with your business and, and you put the hard work to, uh, to keep growing it. So remember... 
no cost. It is a sponsor, so it means that it has some cost to someone and someone decided that they want to support your business and support you and our community to keep moving forward. So let's be grateful for this opportunity. Take advantage of it because you're going to really benefit from it. I mean, the curricula is pretty impressive. The instructors are at a very high level, so you're not, you're not going to be getting like random con content from people that don't know anything about business. So again, take advantage of it. This is a great opportunity. And I want to thank you, uh, Marnie, and the team at the uh, Inner City Capital uh, for putting this together. And, you know, if we can support you with anything, please let us know. Definitely. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to speak with you all and share information. We really value our partnership and the ways in which we can continue to support our communities and ensure that, again, that they're being that they're at, they're getting a seat at the table and that they're that we're, they're recognized as key elements of building San Diego and contributing to the economic growth of our city. So um, we look forward to working with you all. Again, if you have any questions, you can reach out to, directly to me at M-P-O-N-T-E-S at I-C-I-C. -I -C. So mpontes at ICIC.org. Um, and we'll follow up with you and share more information um, and get you connected to the resources that you need. So thank you again so much for the opportunity to speak to speak here and to be with you all. We truly appreciate it and we look forward to continuing our work together. No, thank you so much. And uh, her contact information is in the, in the last slide of the presentation in case you didn't uh, catch that. So Thank you again, Marnie. Have a beautiful weekend. Have a great Friday. And hopefully, you know, by next week, uh, you will get a lot of uh, small businesses from San Diego uh, signing up to this program. I look forward to it. Thank you Thank so you. much, everyone. Bye-bye. Have a good rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.